In modern-day warfare, the role of helicopters cannot be overstated as they are crucial in warfare even though they might not be as flashy as some aerial vehicles. Emphasizing how crucial the helicopters are, the United States military has proceeded to spend billions of dollars in the development of a helicopter that is truly one of a kind. And guess what? This daunting aircraft is in its testing phase. What makes this helicopter different from its predecessors? How will it influence modern warfare? Join us as we explore the significance of this aerial vehicle as the US tests their new $3 billion helicopter. The history of helicopters is dated back to the Second World War when they were utilized a lot in the military during the conflict. The very first practical military helicopter was developed by a German company in 1935, and the helicopter was named HLE He 49. This aircraft was designed for spying, and it had the ability to fly at a speed of up to 100 km per hour, which is similar to 62 miles per hour. After that, many other German military helicopters, like the Flatner Fi 282CB and the Farker Wolf FW61, were created. In 1947, the S51, which was developed by Sikorsky Air CADF, was the very first helicopter that people could purchase. It was advanced in design and could fly for over four hours without refueling. It was unique due to its closed cabin, which made it comfortable and safe for the occupants. The developer later started his company, and it is still a renowned company under the Lockheed Martin brand. That same year, another advanced innovation was created by the Bell Aircraft Corporation, and this helicopter was made with a turbine engine and could fly as fast as 160 km per hour. It was the very first helicopter that was approved for civilian use, and it became very popular because of this. They stopped producing it in 1974. In the 1990s, helicopters underwent advancement in technology and even designs. Eurocopter made the EC-120 Seabree in 1992. It used one strong engine and could carry up to five passengers. Later on, Eurocopter made the EC-145 for medical emergencies. Helicopters are super important now and are used by the military, governments, and businesses for different jobs like transportation and saving lives. They will likely stay important with more improvements in the future. The helicopter had its first significant influence on military operations during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Helicopters delivered airborne infantry units, evacuated wounded people, were used to carry weapons and ammunition, and served as ground attack aircraft. After the Vietnam War, the US, based on the Iroi, created the AH-1 Cobra, a highly agile and armed helicopter. It is an attack helicopter, and it is a part of the Huey family and is sometimes called the Huey Cobra or Snake. The cockpit of the Cobra was protected by a big fighter-style canopy, and the occupants had armor, including strong seats and personal body armor. It had both a pilot and a gunner sitting one behind the other. The commander sat in the rear and the gunner in the front for better visibility. Both crew members had controls, and they were both certified pilots, allowing them to switch control during the mission. It had several hardpoints on stub wings attached to the sides. Compared to armed UH-1 helicopters, the Cobra could carry twice as much ammunition and reach its destination in half the time. It also had three times the loiter time, allowing it to get to a landing zone before transport helicopters, clear it, provide support, and keep fighting as they left. Its slim shape supposedly made it harder for enemies to hit accurately with small arms fire, but it was still vulnerable to manpads, especially in areas like the tail rotor, drive shaft, and main transmission. But the Soviet Union took the lead in the development of advanced helicopters due to the successful use of American attack helicopters in Vietnam. To ensure the mobility of troops and constant support from the air, the Soviet Union created a real air combat ship called the Mi-24 in 1967. Since the 1970s, the Soviet Army has developed over 2,600 helicopters, which are still in service today. This helicopter is equipped with a well-armored bow, also armored critical areas, cabins, gears, engines, and tanks. The helicopter is equipped with a 30mm double-barreled cannon and anti-tank missiles. Even though it weighs 8.5 tons, it is powerful and allows it to perform complex aerobatics, demonstrated many times at aviation festivals and exhibitions. For its characterized armor, high speed, and powerful armament, the helicopter earned its nickname, the Crocodile. The Mi-24 has the ability to carry additional troops, and it can transport eight fully equipped soldiers. Despite its age, the Crocodile is still in service in over 50 countries around the world, and over 1,500 combat vehicles are still in service. The aircraft's base comes from the Mil Mi-8, with two top-mounted engines driving the main and tail rotors. The engine setup gives it a distinct double air intake. Original versions have a boxy cockpit, while later models have a tandem cockpit with a unique double bubble canopy. Some parts are from the Mi-14 Hayes. A modified Mi-24 called A-10 set world speed records by removing extra weight. 
The previous record was 332.64 km per hour, set in 1975, but it later achieved 336 km per hour in 1976, a record that it held until 1968. It is a unique helicopter, serving as both an armored gunship and a troop transport, a role not directly matched by any NATO helicopter. In contrast, the UH-1 used by the US in the Vietnam War could either transport troops or serve as a gunship, but not both simultaneously. Converting a UH-1 into a gunship meant sacrificing troop transport capabilities. The French and Germans decided to create their own military helicopter, and they developed the A-129. It is a medium attack helicopter, but the main rotor blades can withstand a 30mm shell hit. It is equipped with anti-tank high-precision Hellfire missiles. The Hellfire missile had a significant effect during the 1991 Gulf War. In 2007, the Italians managed to enter the international market when Ostein Westland won a Turkish tender to license production of 51 modified AW-129 helicopters for the Turkish army. It costs $43 million. It is powered by two Rolls-Royce GEM engines. They have automatic management and easy controls, quick startup, and use fuel efficiently. Newer versions have improvements like a better transmission. These engines have infrared suppressors to reduce heat and increase survival. The helicopter also has protective features like electronic warfare and SAAP for self-defense. Selex Galileo made some of the mission interface systems and onboard software for later aircraft. Let's move on to China's first attack helicopter, the WZ-10. It was introduced in 2011 and was developed to cover the needs of Chinese armed forces. More than 300 machines have been produced up to date. The helicopter is a conventional attack helicopter with a small fuselage and two cabins. All vital areas are protected by armor plates. The helicopter is armed with a 30mm cannon and anti-tank missiles HJ-8 or HD-9, made in China. It costs $17 million. Under a secret contract, COV teamed up with the Chinese to create another helicopter. They set basic details like weight and speed, then COV designed and tested the initial design. The Chinese team made significant changes after receiving it. While Orzha handled the first design, China took over for the prototype flight tests and more development. The helicopter has two flight instrument setups. One is based on a possibly French system, and the other is made locally. Both have the same holographic heads-up display. The main difference is in the layout. One has three small color screens, while the other has two larger ones. It is unclear which came from the foreign system or is locally made. Having different setups helps cater to the preferences of pilots from different countries when exporting. However, by early 2018, it was confirmed. The version with two larger screens was chosen for service. One of the two main fire control systems is the electro-optical system. It is made by combining the best hardware from similar French and Israeli systems, drawing on past experience. However, the software is entirely developed by China. The second attack helicopter manufactured in Western Europe is the French-German Tiger. In 1984, the French and German armed forces submitted official requirements for the development of an attack helicopter. Over 180 units were produced, and it is the most successful and widespread European helicopter. During the production of the Tiger, the latest technical innovations were used, including composite materials, digital sensors, and SES. The fuselage of the helicopter is made of composite materials, and this type of armor can withstand hits from shells of up to 23 mm caliber. The chassis structures are robust, and the armored seats allow the crew in emergency situations to withstand a landing speed of up to 37 feet per second. The cockpit is a two-seat cabin with impact-absorbing armored seats. The main and tail rotor blades remain operational during combat injuries and bird strikes. This helicopter includes stealth technology as well as other additional features to enhance its endurance. Either crew member can handle weapons or control the flight, switching roles when needed. The pilot manages self-defense systems, communications, and some secondary weapons. The Tiger is equipped with a 30mm cannon. The main threat comes from guided missiles. The helicopter is equipped with four hot air-to-ground missiles of its own Franco-German manufacturer. It can also use other types of missiles, including the well-known Hellfire. There are two air-to-air -air missiles on each helicopter's external nodes. The cost of one Eurocopter Tiger helicopter is $39 million. It can perform various combat tasks like reconnaissance, anti-tank missions, and supporting ground troops. It operates day or night in any weather and is designed for post-nuclear, biological, or chemical warfare. It can also operate from ships in rough weather. Notably, its agility comes from a special rotor design allowing it to perform loops and challenging maneuvers. The power comes from two controlled turboshaft engines. 
new crew members need to attain particular expertise through extensive training due to differences from older platforms. Because it is more autonomous, the chief test pilot called it the easiest handling aircraft. The overall cost and unit cost differ. The helicopter makes use of stealth technology to reduce its visibility to various threats on the battlefield, including visual, radar, infrared, and acoustic signals. The aircraft is designed with composite material to reduce its radar, infrared, and acoustic signatures, enhancing survivability. The fuselage is armored to withstand small arms and cannon fire. The helicopter has a radar laser warning system, missile detection, and countermeasures like flares. This aircraft is Europe's first all-composite helicopter and is majorly made of materials like carbon fiber, Kevlar, aluminum, and titanium. Its key components are designed for better tolerance, including a gearbox with a 60-minute dry run capability. The fuel tanks conceal themselves to reduce vulnerability. The most recent Russian attack helicopter complements the legendary Mi-24 series. It has become a versatile and effective design. First of all, it is known for its armor. The windshield can withstand machine gun rounds. The fuselage of the Mi-28 is a mixed construction made mainly of aluminum alloys and composite materials. Protection of the bow includes titanium armor as well as ceramic plates glued to the frame of the forward section. It is also equipped with an emergency crew escape system. This is probably one of the most armored attack helicopters to date. It is armed with a 30mm cannon installed in the turret under the bow. This aircraft can carry two 80mm containers of unguided rockets and 16 anti-tank guided missiles. Talking about the cost, one unit of this aircraft is $18 million. It has a crucial avionic system called OSIRIS, which includes cameras, a laser rangefinder, and gyroscopes for stability. OSIRIS is the main sensor for finding and targeting, providing data for weapons. It allows passive target acquisition and enhances the trig anti-tank missile capabilities. Some versions have an alternative optical system. The Tiger can carry various weapons like rockets, cannons, and air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles controlled by a dedicated computer. It has a 30mm turret for ground targets, gun pods, anti-tank missiles, and rocket launchers on its wings. Using missiles like Mistral, the Tiger benefits from their off-board sight capabilities. A guided 70mm rocket based on the ROE and CAT is planned for the Tiger. Another renowned helicopter in the history of aviation is the American Viper. It is a twin-engine attack helicopter that was developed by the United States Marine Corps as part of the H-1 modernization program. It is designed with new engines, a new main rotor, an overdrive transmission, upgraded electronics, and a new sighting system. It has infrared and night vision, which gives it the ability to operate at any time of the day, night, and even in unfavorable weather conditions. The Viper is armed with a 20mm three-barrel cannon. It carries two tons of armaments, 16 Hellfire anti-tank missiles, and two AIM-9 air-to-air homing missiles on the short wings. It can also carry a 770mm container of unguided rockets to destroy the enemy's weapons. Also, it has a special rotor system with fewer parts, which makes it simpler. The rotor blades are made of really strong materials to withstand impacts. They can also fold semi-automatically, allowing efficient storage on ships and during transport. Its developers focused on making this helicopter very easy to maintain, reducing the maintenance tasks compared to the Super Cobra. The aircraft was also upgraded to improve its survivability, allowing the helicopter to find and attack targets regardless of the distance by making use of high-precision weapons. The helicopter's airframe was also redesigned to increase its crashworthiness, including features like energy-absorbing landing gear and self-sealing tanks. It possesses active systems like countermeasures, radar warning, and infrared suppression to protect the aircraft. The cockpit is designed so that crew members can control the helicopter from either the front or rear. It has a special side stick system called hands-on collective and stick, allowing the pilot to perform several functions without moving their hands from the control. Both crew stations have two large multifunction displays and a smaller dual function display. The avionic system, which was made by Northrop Grumman, consists of two mission computers and an automatic flight control system. The communication system combines various functions into one unit, and the navigation suite includes GPS, a digital map system, and a low airspeed air data subsystem to deliver weapons when airborne. The crew members on the helicopter have to put on the Theos Topo helmet that shows information and imagery. It works day and night and has a wide field of view. The visor can project both infrared or video images and is designed to be upgraded easily. The Lockheed Martin target sight system has a third generation FLIR sensor for seeing and identifying targets in different conditions. Unlike radar, it is passive and can't be tracked. The target sight system has various modes and can be tracked using FLIR or TV. 
This advanced system is also used on the KC-130J Harvest Hawk. The aircraft costs over $31 million per unit. The Viper's capabilities are less compared to the AH-64 Apache. The Apache is the most numerous and common combat helicopter in the Western world and its allies. It is equipped with a modified Hellfire missile with a wide range of up to 6 miles. It can also carry two AGM-122 air-to-ground anti-radar missiles for self-defense. As of 2022, more than 2,400 helicopters had been built for the US and its partners, including Israel, Britain, Japan, South Korea, and others. If you're wondering what helicopter is the most expensive, it is the Apache, costing about $64 million. It has a special rotor system with fewer parts, making it simpler. The rotor blades are made of strong materials for better survival against impacts. The rotor can fold semi-automatically, allowing efficient storage on ships and during transport. They focused on making it easy to maintain, reducing tasks compared to the Super Cobra. Above the main rotor of the helicopter is a fire control radar, the APG-7 Longbow. It allows you to detect a target when the helicopter is behind cover. It can track up to 128 targets and engage up to 16 enemy targets simultaneously. The radar is also equipped with a modem that allows it to transmit data to ground units and other apaches, enabling coordinated attacks.